Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? So, um, Joe Budden is running his mouth. Joe Budden is talking about fans. And this was in episode 488 of the podcast, and I didn't catch this part. And he is not dumb. There's a reason why he did this, and there's a reason why he put it at the point he did in the podcast. He wants to sit there and he wants to complain, but he also knows that if you are a Patreon member, because you're a Patreon member, the chances are you're more likely to listen to the full episode. So you're the one that's going to probably catch this stuff because you're paying for it. And Joe knows no matter what, with analytics, your numbers are going to start to fall off before you reach the end of the video. It is a phenomenal goal to get 50% of the people watching to finish your video. So this guy is playing the game. Um, he's playing the game and he's also like shitting on everyone, which I don't think is, I don't think is appropriate because he forgets where he comes from. Um, we'll talk about that because when you come from certain communities like us and when you come from certain economic backgrounds you should understand something about this as you can tell from the title joe budden is crapping on fans and shitting on fans because he thinks that all fans should pay if you're a fan you pay what if you don't have the money he acts like he has always paid for everything that he enjoys and watches like like i support the artist have you always supported the artist? Have you ever downloaded a song illegally? Have you ever downloaded anything? Like, shut up. So we're going to get into it because him and especially Ice, Ice don't have no money. Ice before this podcast didn't have no money. So when he's coming on here and he's like crapping on fans saying that they have to pay and stuff too, it's like, bruv, you, you're talk, you talk about the internet all the time and you don't pay for a lot of stuff. So like for you to give that energy just because the, it will directly affect your pocket is dirty. Ish is the only one on here that is level-headed about this. And he's probably the only reason why people continue to watch over and over and over and over again. I'm not saying it's only because of Ish, but all the kind of bad things that might be said by Joe or Ice that might be a little too much for some people or might annoy people a little too much, Ish is there. So let's get into it. to uh you know what I'm new payment mono program i feel like we can't leave without discussing the verses the upcoming one or the one from no, last night no I we'll do that it. on patreon <clears throat> 22905 look we in two and a half hours to get into this Patronies, subscribe over there. Yeah, we're oh, the Patronies been there. loving us too. Yeah, oh, we they, kept them. We kept yeah. them afloat. This they time. have been. I got into an argument with fans because they were like, "Yo, fuck, dude, you can't put everything on Patreon. See what they pay for it." No, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. yes, you can. Nah, yeah. but the real fans, we've been out said the real fans the real, don't mind putting their money where their mouth is. But that was the argument I got into. Wait, the, wait, excuse me. They told me the real. No, <laughs> the real with the real wait, fans. We've been here since day one. We we watch here and y'all just putting all this shit on Patreon. Well, who's the real fan? The fan that's been there from day one or the fan that's willing to invest? I can't believe he said that. I am shocked he said that. Especially when he acts like he talks about the black plight and he understands what's going on with all these things within race and all this and oh, Justin Bieber's racist, blah, blah, blah. But this idiot is making this comment knowing that so much of the black and Spanish community that he seems to talk about so much that he loves, Puerto Rican community, the black community, they cares about so much. He wants people to get theirs and all this stuff. Um, a lot of the people coming from these communities don't have money. So when your Patreon costs $25 to get all the content per month, that's a lot of money for some people. So for him to act like, oh, fans aren't fans unless they pay, what are you talking about? Spotify is free music. You just have to press shuffle. That's all you got to do. All you got to do is click the shuffle button instead of selecting the song that you want to listen to it as advertisements. But that's a part of the business, just like YouTube has advertisements. Yeah, you're not getting a lion's share 100% of the money because it's YouTube's platform that you're using to make money from. So he's he acts like he's owed all these things that he doesn't own. He's, he doesn't, he's not owed these things. Then Ice is just kind of, I don't know, it kind of sounds like he's parroting. I hate saying it like that because I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to diss or anything like that. It just seems like he's parroting Joe and it's 
kind of just rubbing it in like, oh yeah, I have money. And when he's saying he's arguing with fans, saying the real fans were here from day one, that's the truth because if you're a real fan of Joe Budden, the podcast, the Joe Budden podcast, these fans, a lot of them came from Joe Budden's music or now the fans that are coming, like me, are coming because of the topics that are covered in the inside of his videos. So when he's acting like this, I've given him the benefit of the doubt quite a bit with some of the things that he's done. But this is a dirty, dirty, shady shot that he's throwing at the end of this video. And it's at the end of the podcast, which is disgusting because most people are going to miss it. A great majority of people are going to miss this. Only the people that watch the most are going to be seeing this. Even with YouTube analytics, I guarantee you, the analytics aren't saying that people are reaching two and a half hours. That's where most people are stopping. That's not happening. He is, um, I think he's taken, uh, I, he's messed himself up mentally because he, he just isn't with what he used to be with. He, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand the trenches anymore. Obviously. I'm asking. I, I agree. That was my stance. I'm just asking. And I was told. Don't, both, don't shoot the asker, asking jerk. Careful. It's both. Somebody told me so because I don't want to give you my money. I'm not a real fan. Yeah. No, it's not true. That is true. That's not true. That is true. I, I disagree. How is it not true? How's um, it, how is it not true? So what about the people that I get? I bet you there's probably people that have watched this that are struggling with their money. They're struggling to pay rent week by week or month by month. So to add on another cost for a subscription that's for something that used to be free. Yes, it's going to get you a little heated and it's going to draw more people to leave. Um, How's that true? <clears throat> I'll explain. Um, every, <clears throat> excuse me. Everybody's financial situation ain't the same. Mm -hmm. So, $25 a month to somebody might be something. $10 a month to somebody might be something. There's different levels of fan. fan Look, and it's not, shut up, Parks. It has nothing to do with different levels of fandom. You're wrong. You're just wrong. Ish isn't saying that. Ish is saying people have different financial, they have different financial scenarios. So for someone that might be able to afford it, they can afford it. For someone that can't afford it, it's a lot different. So um, that $5 a month could be a lot. You know why? Because if you're getting paid minimum wage and you're paying your rent, you don't have enough even for rent and your basic bills. So if you don't have enough for your basic bills, how the hell are you going to be able to come on and pay $5 that you just literally don't have? If you have negative in your account and you watch their podcast for free on YouTube because it's easier for you to consume it there and because you need something to listen to and these guys help you through whatever time you're going through. You're telling me you're not a real fan. And that's what I'm saying. It don't mean that somebody's not a fan because they ain't pay. That's exactly what I mean. I disagree. I know people hate to hear that. That's exactly. And Joe's saying that now that he's bougie and has money. So like he loves that he could say this stuff when he has money. But when he was a broke ass bum in New York, he didn't have this energy. And he didn't treat the people that watched his podcast like this earlier. Exactly what I mean. If I say I'm a fan of Parks and I have never purchased anything from Parks in his whole career. This is what I think is hilarious, because what about the people that are on TV? Uh, uh, what about the people on TV? Who am I paying that I want? I've never paid Tom Cruise anything. What about P or like Tom Cruise is in movies? I'm buying his tickets. What about people like um, anyone on American Horror Story? If I'm watching it and I'm not buying the merch and I'm not buying this, or I'm not buying that. You're telling me I'm not a fan. You just being present. And he knows this. You just being present as a fan, talking about him, speaking about him, putting him in the public on social media is what creates their buzz. It's what creates other people to grow and become more popular. My channel specifically, when I have zero subscribers, it's a lot harder to get views, whatever, based on SEO or whatever it is. As you grow, people are gonna be more likely to look at you and more likely to click on you. Why? Because it shows that more people are watching you, more people are entertained by what you're putting out, or more people are like questioning what it is. So for him to act like this is it's kind of it's it's honestly disgusting to me. I don't understand it, and he's just acting too big time now for regular people. And let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's look at the communities that would be more willing to pay money for something. Which ones have more disposable income, especially right now? Mm -hmm. Then the person that did is saying 
You're, you're not really you're a, not fan. a fan, though. And that's how I feel. They're not I'm saying, not saying I, oh, you're. I'm not saying that. I've been paying for the Patreon, even though I haven't been watching all the episodes because I'm, I'm, I'm able to do this right now. It's not like I have a ton of money or anything, right? I don't have a ton of money right now, but when I see this, it's pathetic. It's so pathetic. Financial situation is different. They're not saying, oh, you're broker and you might not be able to afford it they're saying you Yo, you're not the fan and i'm not really a fan now if parks i'm um, stay stay where you are mm-hmm. if parks could quote my shit forwards and backwards but the motherfucker that paid it only could quote three or four songs who's a bigger fan parks might have never spent a dollar but he knows yeah joe shut up joe's sitting here he's like he did a side eyes like looking down a little bit because he's thinking he's like how can i rebut this because that's all he does he doesn't just he doesn't agree with things that are true Everything about me, he can quote all of my songs. He knows my entire catalog. Now you, stay, now, now you stay right there. Wait, the, the person that paid knows the four bangers. Now you stay. They know pump it up. Stay right there. I am. How's Parks gonna know that that person knows all the words? Why does that matter? How does it matter if you know you fucking idiot? And he's sitting there with his goofy ass smirk, like he has a point. He doesn't have no damn point. Mm. Huh? <laughs> no damn point. How will Parks know? He don't know. Then what are you talking about? We're talking about the bigger fan. If Parks don't know, if the tree fell in the fucking went park and nobody heard it, who gives a fuck? This is your argument? You fucking idiot. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been in front of a camera? And this is your argument? What? I can't believe this. If a tree fell and no one's there to hear it, you don't every time you make a podcast every time I make a video there's not people watching me i don't have people circling me around watching me telling me i'm getting good you don't either no one does so when he's saying a tree fell in the who so with his argument how the fuck are you supposed to know what the bigger fan is just because they have more expendable income or disposable income what the fuck what are you talking about uh, we said how we, how are we determining who's the bigger and ice is suddenly quiet because there is no argument to be made here Knows. Parks or somebody that pays That was where you started I stayed there Okay Parks knows all the You didn't stay there Mr. Tree Falling Words to every song That I've ever made In my whole entire life uh-huh. But he didn't buy it Ice Bought it But he bought it For the four bangers Like he don't know My full catalog He know these four songs And He's not saying this But what he is meaning By saying Oh Ice bought this He bought it for the four bangers there's a good chance Ice would have more disposable income than the true fan that has listened to everything that doesn't have the money to afford either the Patreon or whatever it may be. And he's a fan of mine, but he spent money. I see mm-hmm. what Joe's saying, though. I won't know. It ain't yeah. about who knows. I see, I see what Joe's saying. What? Yeah, because you're a little jady or you're a little jaded right now about this, too, obviously. But, uh, but, but yes, nobody knows. Who knows? Yes, it is. Who knows? Yes, it is. So Because no, if you know all the words. To- see, this is pathetic to me. Like. This, to me, is like, oh, well, they seem like they're too big time. They just completely don't understand the dynamic of people that come from the neighborhoods that they act like they care about so much. And Ish is quite literally being like, yo, he's like, our people do not have this money. What about the people that come into your shows that have this money? Or what about the people that are coming to these shows that know all your lyrics? They know all this stuff, but they just don't have the money to afford the Patreon. My song... Come to my show. Let me let me see. Spend some money, right? You might get some money. Come to your show. How the fuck am I supposed to pay for that if you can't? If you cannot pay for an electric bill, if you cannot pay to get a meal at McDonald's, how the hell are you supposed to be buying this podcast? A hey, hey, t-shirt. Hey, buy some merch. You but let buy some merch. Oh. They told the Patreon people that they had a discount. For Thanksgiving and the discount was 20% instead instead of 15%, which is the normal. So they care so much they get 5% off. Let me show you how expensive this stuff is. I really hope. I don't remember where it was at, but they have like let me see if it shows here. One second, because oh here it is, holiday merch discount. Uh Look, pay- Patrons get 20% discount state- site-wide. Non-Patreons only get 15. You really think... And then look, not nothing for... But <laughs> 5% off. 
by standing or rocking a Joe Budden podcast sweatshirt. Kill yourself. Cars of the Podfather's once bad ideas. This is hilarious. All of these are ugly. This shit is sold out. I don't care about that. Uh, discount. I just can't believe it. You should sell dirt wife beaters. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Sorry that they kind of went hard on him, but look, the Joe Budden pod. Let's look at this merch. Look how much this shit is. Look how much. This is probably a fucking champs hoodie. I guarantee you this is like $15. I, and when I came on here, you know what's sad? You know what's sad? For the holiday merch, it was $90. These guys are waxing people. I don't know if, the, if these are just different selections, but um, the holiday sweatshirt was $90. This one is $60. So I guarantee you it's the same material they're getting. The holiday ones were just a special collection. So um, they're waxing you. If you're buying this stuff, they're waxing you. I'm not paying $60 for a champs hoodie. Or something that's equivalent to a champs hoodie. I see some of these merch out here and I'm like, what the hell? Um, who was it? There was some podcast I was watching the other day. I was watching something. Oh, Kenny Beats, the dot store. Um, I watch his Twitch and on Kenny Beats dot store, they sometimes throw out special merch to people that watch on Twitch or follow his Discord and he'll give them a special code. He gave a special code last night. I got in the code and you can see how it was. That shit was selling out just through his Twitch. And that's off of the strength of he's like yeah he's like these sweatshirts he's like this ain't no champs hoodie this isn't a 15 dollars hoodie that we're throwing trying to throw a 60 dollar 90 dollar price tag on he's like these are the this material people are selling these kinds of hoodies for 300 dollars. he's like i'm not gonna talk about who but there's a lot of podcasters you guys watch that are selling champs hoodies for 90 dollars. and as soon as he said that all i could think about was when i looked at the holiday merch because i thought about buying some but i'm not buying 90 dollars sweatshirt what the hell are you talking about what the hell I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. And if you talk to most of these people that do have money, even the people that come from our culture, they'd be like, what the hell are you doing buying that? That's exactly why, um, what's his name? When Wackar Osiris was talking about his earrings being worth so much, um, Chad Ocho Cinco, which has more money than most people in the rap game, if not all of them, Chad Ocho Cinco was like, I could buy that at Claire's for $10. <laughs> like this, this shit's ridiculous. <clears throat> But uh, let's continue. Do anything. You see how upset, like you could tell that he's frustrated by this. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? That helps me or shows that you are a fan of. That you're invested but in But you this. didn't get merch. You didn't get the album. You didn't buy nothing. You just singing the word. The album, bro. Your music isn't why people watch your podcast. You stupid bitch. Stop being so up your ass about this. Like people are not watching your podcast for your music. To my shit around you and your friends, you're not actually helping me maintain and sustain. And you're not it, not helping you maintain and sustain. I was watching your free stuff on YouTube is getting you views. You idiot. What are you talking about? He acts like people don't know that. There's no different. Than he get paid. He gets paid for everything he does. He's he's talked about this on previous episodes. He's not going to do anything for free. He talks about all this. The sports team, fans buy the jerseys. They go go to the games. Like who are a majority of these fans buying this stuff? It's not people part of your community, you idiot. Like, yo, this is what fans, fans put their money in. And it's, and it's people that are hella yo, five me, fans that me. know every sport, every stat, every everything that's never been to a game. For me, it's but they, a good example of what, uh, yeah. since we brought sports. I like, but they, yeah, you have nothing else to say about that. Just don't. For me, a good example of what I'm talking about is the person that is a fan of the team because a player got there. <laughs> no, that's. I said for me. Mm-hmm. Like, it's similar to me. You've not invested in this team, this team's history. You've done nothing to support this LeBron team. LeBron came and now you're a Lakers fan. Or LeBron came and now you're a Yeah, Kings now you're a Nets fan because yeah. KD is yeah, there. That's but whack. You know we was in the ABA. Mm -hmm. You was there when Jason Kidd was there. You was there when niggas had to move from New Jersey. When Kenny Anderson and Petrovic there. was out there doing their thing. Yeah, I get it. was there when uh, Hove and the Russian dude popped up. Mm -hmm. When they put the big billboard across from the garden, they thought they was them niggas like, no, don't just pop up, man. KD got there last year. You want to tell me you're a fan? Yes, it's you not, could. You could be a fan. Though. You might be a fan, but the other fan is invested differently, and maybe that's a bad example. No, it's a horrible. It's not. It's not. Maybe, a horrible, but, saying, yeah, but I can see why you could. That's a difference. I'm talking about somebody that together. really. And let me make my. Let me preface. Part. Let me be clear. I appreciate the fan that Ish is talking about. I don't want to. 
Yeah, you better, you better start talking quick because you know that the casual fans are the most important to virtually everything you do. Everything you do, the people that are the most important are, I wouldn't say the most important, but I would say the things that are going to boost you into a different stratosphere financially or put you in a different place as far as viewership is if you reach the general public. They all talk about this. It's the same thing with music and entertainment. You have to reach the general public instead of being just like a niche. If you want to really like reach stats that you wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. Um, so he is just playing fail safe and he's like, yo, if everyone starts unsubscribing, there's going to be problems. So that's all he's doing. He doesn't care. Sound like a, like I'm disconnected. Yes. If you know all the words and you're supportive in that way, I appreciate you. No, you don't. But in black. No, he does not. And he's already made that clear. He's made it very clear prior to saying this. Him trying to say this after the fact does not neglect everything they said before this. See, White, no, no, no. What you just said. <laughs> My argument was like, then what I was trying to explain was, yeah, you could be the fan, the one that watches everything for free, etc. This fan that is invested more should get returned more. I agree. So with while that. we're on, that's not what you were saying, but. That is more understandable. Vacation. Totally. I totally agree. So, with but, that. but this was this is where the yeah. argument started. Mm -hmm. I agree. Now, this I is agree where the argument started. The mm -hmm. fan that's invested while we were on vacation was still getting paused. Mm -hmm. Somebody hit me and was like, "Damn, dog, when y'all coming back? I'm missing paused." I was like, "But we dropped mad paused this week." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Yeah, but that's for Patreon. That ain't got nothing to do with the real fans." And I'm like, "Well, the real fans are the ones who are willing to support." I love when people use arguments like this because it's just so stupid. There's, it, there's no additional thought put into it. The real fans are the ones that are going to pay. No, what if there's just a casual fan that wants a little bit more content occasionally that comes on here because they have disposable income? Like you're, you're ugh. And also, yeah. let's not look at it like and I'm not trying to. Let's not look at it like the person that's on Patreon doesn't also know all the lyrics to the song. Exactly. They do no, both. I agree. I'm not disagreeing, but I just was giving an example to okay. Joe's point where we can't say who's a real fan versus who's a fake fan. Somebody could really, really, really be a fan. You're, you're and right. Just you don't got to be a fan of the music to be a fan of the podcast. So when they're talking about the music, that's absolutely nothing to do with the Joe Budden podcast or the Patreon. You're you know right, what I'm saying? Antoine. That, you're right. That's not our place to say. My my broader. Oh, now he's like, okay. Let me let me reel this in. Her point. I guess my broader point was your point. The fan that helps the artist sustain versus the fan that helps the platform. The person that has disposable income versus the person that doesn't. The artists. They are to be viewed differently. They are to be viewed different. The person that has disposable income is the person that has the ability to give you extra or to buy your merch. That does not mean that they are a hardcore fan, you idiot. And for me, that's going to always be a fact. I'm, I'm not Let me sure use us that. as an example. I agree with that. We drop a pod, since we're here now, let's do it, mm -hmm. twice a week mm -hmm. on most of the audio platforms. And soon I'll probably, we'll probably make a return to spot. Damn. A whole two times a week when almost everyone that listens to podcasting works five days, 40 hours at least a week. So you drop two podcasts a week and you're talking about this hard work. Shut up. Spotify and we'll make a big, a big to do out of it, right? <laughs> like you do everything. And we do probably a million, close to a million every time out. Wide. Why? Public, right? We ain't paid from it. <laughs> we ain't paid from it at all. Gotcha. It just exists. Mm -hmm. Now, for, for somebody now, else's now, now, enjoyment. Now, no, no, no. We have analytics to say. I would, I, if he's he's not getting paid for, you're not getting paid for YouTube. You're not getting paid for links. You're not getting paid for merchandise. You're not getting paid for it at all. The views is what pays for it. You get ad revenue off of the views alone. So when he's saying this, he's lying. And also when people are clicking his links and they're taking him to his stores and they're buying his stuff, that gives him more money. So he's he's lying. Or if all, if all of his stuff is somehow demonetized because the content that they put out, all this stuff is going on Patreon. He's making a lot off of Patreon, trust me. 
if you look at Andrew Schultz's numbers on Patreon, because I, I used to be subscribed to that. I, I wish I was subscribed so I could show you. But it was a hundred. He shows how much he makes a hundred thousand dollars a month. And if you look at the amount of likes and comments he gets versus Joe Budden's every episode, it's not comparable. So if he's getting a hundred thousand dollars and I know he's splitting it in a more fair way to his co-hosts and his producers and stuff. And the reason why I know this is because they haven't had issues with pay and it's flagrant to um, with Andrew Schultz and Akash Singh. If you look at the bios and stuff, it's not like, oh, this is all about Andrew or any of that. But this podcast is all about Joe. Hey, we'll go out there and bring some ad money back because we have a top pod mm -hmm. that we do for free that all of you niggas make money off of that I ain't made a dollar off in seven years. I do that for the love. That's where our love conversation stops. Y'all love it, know all the words to the song, and I throw the Lucy's out during the year. I still got an album to go make. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? So them telling us to go, them telling podcasters to go get ad money based on your analytics is the same exact thing as the labels telling the rappers, go get show money. Go get hot. Mm -hmm. Go get show money. Right. Hey, go on the road. Go tour. Go sign a pub deal. Do anything. But don't come over here and bother our books. Now, right? So that's that's the equivalent of that. Now, move. Album time. Patreon. <laughs> we on vacation. That mean you free niggas, y'all gotta move. But there's a certain... We're on vacation. So because we're on vacation, that's why you guys gotta pay us. Because you guys gotta pay us for this vacation. That's what he's saying. Certain allegiance, right, that you have to the people that... Oh, we going where you told us to go and we doing what you asked us to do mm -hmm. because it helps support y'all. Mm -hmm. We love y'all. Y'all. Yeah. Only. We love all y'all, but we love y'all. We love all of y'all. Extra. But you that ain't too niggas. Hard. That, ain't the too hard. that ain't the YouTube niggas. We watch most of y'all niggas run and come back. Yeah, we, yeah. I seen it with my own two eyes. It ain't them. It ain't that. We watched you guys leave and come back. Like, how the hell do you know that these people are coming back? There's some people that might say that they're coming back. What I get? There's no way you're seeing over a thousand comments that are saying this. There's no way people are coming on here and just telling you, "Yeah, I'm coming back." There's no way you know which individual people subscribed. There's just no way. Apple niggas don't even know where to find those comments at. It ain't Spotify. We seen what happened over there. It ain't SoundCloud. It's none of these places. So, yes, they all fans. You're right. I I submit to that. But there has to be a different <laughs> a level. different level of. <laughs> I know I sound like a dickhead. I used to keep saying, hey, I was, I was uh, in the public. Oh, yo, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm going to take a picture. How I know you like, show me a receipt. You bought an album? <laughs> you bought merch? Do you know any song outside of Pump It Up? No. Niggas just run around saying, I'm a fan, so you can get some free shit. Suck my dick. No. Especially today when there's no meat, no cars, no gas, no nothing. Everywhere is understaffed, nothing is free. If you're good at a service, better figure out how to go get paid from it. Sure. And if it's 2021 and you ain't figured it out yet, you're late. <laughs> you're late. I Congratulations to all the people that have figured it out. It's awesome for y'all. I don't know how we got on this. Come on. Come on. Title. Uh, isn't it perfect that he chose to talk about this at this point? It's just, it's a, it's a shame, bro. Uh, he's disconnected. He said he doesn't want to be disconnected, but he's disconnected. So, so yeah, guys. I don't know. I think I think this is a little foolish. I think when you come from the communities that he comes from, or the ones that we come from, like Spanish black communities, poor communities, you should understand. Some people don't have disposable income. Um, that's why people do the things that they do, and that's why some people don't at all throw down the books at the people for doing that. So yeah, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below please uh give away 1000 subscribers don't forget um and if you guys support the channel there's cash app and patreon not patreon but there's cash app and i don't know there's something else down there so if you guys are interested in that click that or if you guys want to know the gear that i'm using that is also listed down below thank you guys so much for watching the video with me and i'll talk to you guys soon